What's up, everybody out there in YouTube land? Wrath2501 here. Okay, guys, so I don't know what SMG4 is doing. They look like they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Okay, because now they're parroting game theory, I guess, because this is SMG4 theory. Is Mario dead? And even the thumbnail looked like a freaking uh, game theory thumbnail. Oh, my God. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be massively cringeworthy. So let's see what we got here. All right, and go. Man, Mali sure dies a lot in the SMG for show, eh? I mean, it's to the point where there are full compilations of hundreds of deaths in the show. Yet after every death, Mali always comes back <laughs> alive and memeing. Or is he? Let me ask you a question, folks. Have you ever considered that Mario might actually be dead? Well, this is... he's like that. Totally live, all good, no questions about it. Case closed. But wait a second. Bruh. There's more going on here than at first glance. Ladies and gentlemen, let's dive a little deeper. They're serious. They're seriously doing this. Oh my god. Hello, oh my god. Oh my god, man. We discussed my silly little meme show. So let's get silly and talk about death. So what's the deal with this guy, huh? He sure does die Dumb a lot, idiot. both in this show and in Burr! the other games. He dies in many, many different ways. Getting poked by Goombas, getting stabbed, getting sucked into black holes... Uh, he wasn't this, stabbed there. What the? Died. Oh god, that was horrifying! He always comes back. So what's the deal? Is he immune to dying? Is he some kind of weird psychopath who likes to die? Well, in the main games, he always screams like a maniac when dying. <laughs> so I doubt he considers death an afternoon stroll. But what about an SMG4? Well, in Mario breaks the McDonald's ice cream machine. He holds his breath because he can't have ice cream. Dumb idiot. But this does prove that he can feel death and experience death. So it's not like he's doing it because he enjoys it. For the most part. But let's get started. <laughs> For the most this part. This does raise some questions about Mario. How does he keep coming back? What's up with this one-up counter he always has? Is that his life force or is it souls that he consumes from other people? Something the weird's going on. And for that matter, where does Mario go when he falls off the side of the world in Mario games? An alternate Good dimension? Question. And oh, filled that with is... hundreds of Mario corpses? And also, oh, also why does Mario have nipples in Super Mario Odyssey, huh? A lot of strange occurrences happening, folks. And have uh, considered... dude, do you not have nipples? What the hell? Let's speed this up. In the SMG4 lore, which you should totally watch, by the way, Mario's the avatar of our universe. No, not that avatar. Essentially, Thank he's God. the anchor of this universe. Here's a little comparison for all you nerds out there. Ever seen a little movie called Deadpool and Wolverine? Well, they totally copied us. In that movie, if the anchor being dies, the universe dies. Which we did first, by the way. So stop copying us, Marvel. <coughs> Sorry, I got off track for a second there. Uh, if I has been kicking the bucket all this time, how come I'm still here? How come this world's still here? Is it a retcon? Is every episode a dream? Am I a dream? Am I Probably. even real? Life could be a dream. Okay, Shaboom. Central crisis aside. This logic also raises another question. Did this world exist before Mario was born? Or has Mario been here since the beginning of time? Well, in the game Yoshi's Island, we see baby Mario. Baby Mario has also appeared in SMG4 before. So we can rule out the possibility of Mario being some immortal god. Sorry, the Mario. Now, I know what you're thinking. Uh, if Mario isn't immortal, then how come the SMG4 episode Super Caveman Rose exists? Well, if you haven't seen that episode, which you should totally watch, by the way, Toad and I get sent way Maybe I will watch it. even born, which leads me to this. <laughs> Ah, uh, not this, not this, cut, cut, cut. This is a prehistoric version of Mario, and the world's still intact. This means Mario is a part of a long heritage of fat men Italian plumbers <laughs> that go, wahoo! He's just like the Avatar. <laughs> like this is a bit far fetched. Well, need more evidence? Not that you Avatar. Go to this exact coordinate on Google Maps. You can find Mario. Looks normal, right? Well, if you go back in time. Yeah, it's rewind time. Okay. Oh, Damn. What the hell? In 2009, it was a different Mario. So there are different Marios and different avatars. But wait, there's a problem here. In the SMG4 show, every time Mario dies, he comes back as the exact copy pasted dumbass Mario. No differences in appearance or personality. Yeah. How is this possible? Are they clones? Is Mario coming back to life? Are we pulling an MCU and doing multiverse shit? <laughs> there has to be some way Mario keeps worming his way back into the show. I know what you're thinking. It's the writer. The double cherry power up, modern medicine. <laughs> Wrong. You really think Nintendo, one of the most successful companies in the world, isn't the doing some money. shady deals? Something dark is hidden underneath it all. But what? Did Mario strike a deal with the devil? Maybe there's a hidden demon in the Mario world. 
Okay, on the surface level, it doesn't seem like there's any demons in a series like Mario. Really, the only real mention of any form of god comes from the Mario RPG games. And even though we have some gods and demons in SMG4 land, eh, none of them would ever grant someone like Mario immortality. But we're on the right track. <laughs> All these points connect to the actual answer. Religion. That's right. We're playing a bit of Super Mario religion here, folks. And today's lesson, Luigi. We all know Wait, Luigi. what? Sure, he's Mario's bro, but Hello, why Mario. do you this time sucking ghosts all day, huh? How is he able to defeat ghosts and ghouls while Mario falls victim? Okay, maybe that isn't too shocking, but this does lead to a shocking conclusion. Luigi is evil and working with the ghosts. Luigi so got that death stare. Proof. Ever heard of these? These boards use demonic possession to talk to the dead. It may seem unrelated, but I've asked a data analyst expert to give us the proper pronunciation of this word. Ouija. Ouija boards, ladies and gentlemen. These boards were named after Satan himself, Luigi. View for yourself this incriminating footage of Luigi. This is a reference to uh, text to speech. Okay. At this point, you might be asking yourself, how does this relate to Mario? Think about it. Luigi is the shy, timid brother. Think. Mario is the outgoing, adventurous brother. The two sides of a coin, yin and yang. So if Luigi is a demon, that is very disturbing. Be Jesus. Okay, maybe he's not Jesus, but there is evidence to suggest but. a connection between Mario and Jesus in SMG4. If you watch Stupid Mario Arcade and pause at this exact frame, you'll notice something or someone very suspicious in the background. Enhance! You may notice a man dressed in white. That is Jesus! Really, dude? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, there you go. I knew it. I knew it. I freaking knew it! see Mario talking to Jesus in the afterlife. Jesus rose from the dead, so maybe he taught Mario how to resurrect. Mario and Jesus do seem to get along pretty well. And for that matter, in the meme games, we see Mario T-posing. And who also T-poses? Huh? <laughs> Jesus. Ooh. No, it's not T-posing. His hands are in the right position. into the frame, just like Jesus rose from the dead. I'm thinking I'm back. Coincidence? Absolutely not. Mario is 100% connected to the Bible. And what? Not just in the SMG4 universe, but in the games too. Oh According God. to Revelations 116, and he, Jesus, had in his right hand seven stars. Oh, I'm sorry, which game has seven stars? That's right, Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Oh and my God, the dude. The Bible. In Super Mario 64, we see Mario flying around what looks to be heaven. Mario also teams up with an angel in Super Smash Bros. Brawl. But what? the most damning piece of evidence, folks, what? is this painting right here, The Last Supper. What you might not know is this painting is not completely finished, but now with modern technology, we can finally see Da Vinci's fully finished oh my painting God. enhance. Again! They thought they could get away with it. Not while I'm on the case. With all of this indisputable Oh my facts, God, that is, confirm, that is doubt, that pure Mario's cringe, man. Same resurrection powers as Jesus. But is it possible that there's more to this story? Let's take a look at some hard facts. We know Jesus was born on Hit fire, hard. I think. I don't know. I haven't read the book yet. But you know who else loves fire? Really, dude? Nintendo. This connection is too important to ignore. We call the September 13th Nintendo Direct 2022. Gee, they show a lot of farming simulators around here. Coincidence? Of course not. It was all planned. I all think that the jokes about Nintendo loving farm was all orchestrated by Jesus and the big game. What? Don't believe me? Well, I snuck into the hideout and managed to leak this. Uh, <laughs> wrong leak. Aha, there. This signed document. This proves Nintendo and Jesus struck a deal, and this deal has been going on for decades. Take a look at Jeebus. all the cool that Nintendo and Jesus have done over the years. Bible Adventures on the NES, Super Noah's Ark 3D on the SNES, the Bubble Game on Game Boy Advance, Jesus appearing in Mario and Sonic, the Splatoon Church game, the official epic rap battle between Mario Wait, and what? Jesus, the list goes on. Epic These rap battle between Mario, Mario and Jesus? You know what you're about to say. Why would Nintendo go to Some of those I'm wondering, are those real? Ladies and gentlemen, get your tin foil hats. This partnership is only the beginning. It's time to dive deeper. Clearly, Nintendo's hiding something here. Something they don't want us to know about. And it all comes back to Mario. Nintendo wants us to think Mario's super awesome. Well, I'm not buying it. He's been arrested before in Super Mario Sunshine. Arrested. But did you know this isn't the only time he's been arrested? He's also been arrested for trying to break into someone's house. But wait, there's more. <laughs> he kills Yoshi, committed assault, tax fraud, participates in illegal gambling, stolen livers, pirated games, been on the hit and run, committed <laughs> literal war crimes. Dude! Second guess how cool this guy is. Well, this is only the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> committed but war crimes? Nice. Check out this footage of Mario interacting with an innocent bystander. I love you, Sonic! Oh, shit. How do you think Mario handled the situation? He beat the guy up! Simply. Damn! What Dude! Oh! He gets arrested and it's shared on the news. I mean, to be fair... Those dressed up as Minnie Mouse and even Super Mario. And you might be asking I mean, to be fair, you know... The same reason why Mario gets away with all of his crimes. Nintendo's legal team. 
A bunch of dumb gorilla lawyers. In fact, that dummy Gorillas. created a wall to keep everything all kid-friendly so they wouldn't get in trouble. Those damn gorilla lawyers. And believe it or not, that's not even Nintendo's most lethal force. But they only called in for things like... Piracy. <laughs> And they're no joke. Look at this very real security camera footage of Nintendo Ninjas jumping upon a Nintendo fan. <laughs> and let's not forget that Nintendo Ninjas destroyed my computer. Those a destroyed my property. All I did was pirate a couple of games. All these years we've been surprised by Nintendo being this happy company that is for kids, when in reality they're the shadiest of them all, and they'll do anything to cover up their crimes. Oh, Mario's gonna do something very illegal. Ah! Jeez. All right. I know oh, he did. Earth shattering evidence today, but let's review the facts. Nintendo has this omnipotent red Italian. Luigi is Satan. They made a business partnership with Jesus. They have a million civil <laughs> goodmans and an army of ninjas, and Mario keeps committing crimes time and time again with no repercussions. A million what Saul goodmans. What is this leading up to? I better call Saul. But you're not gonna like it. What I'm telling you is top secret, and I'm not just being overly dramatic. But I've uncovered the biggest scam in human history. Nintendo is actually a cult. Well, kind of, yeah. All trap. system Look makers are cults. The gospel of Mario. And that's not all. It's spreading into media, video games, movies, TV shows, toys, even cereal. All of these are intentionally <laughs> designed around making you feel nostalgic. So you so. love Mario too. Look at how excited Nintendo followers are getting over a skeleton. The symbol of death. It's the sign nah. of the end times. You might be asking, Wrong. how can Nintendo get away with Not a simple skeleton, but I wasn't. I just think Papa it's a stupid... In an interview, what?! Papa John said the following. Stay tuned. The day of reckoning will come. But what does this mean? What does this have to do with Nintendo and Jesus? I'll tell you. Oh my Papa God. John is a promoter of Nintendo products. They're in on it. And even before then, there was this. They were giving away Nintendo Wii's to customers. They were spreading the gospel of Nintendo this entire time. Which means... Enhance. Enhance. Just oh as I thought. Also, Papa John's. A great partnership. Oh my god. And think about it. In the SMG4 episode, Mario runs out of toilet paper. Papa John reveals his true form. Satan. Oh, what's that? We already confirmed earlier that Luigi's Satan? Well, open your eyes. That can only mean one thing. Don't you see? He is Luigi. Really <laughs> Luigi this entire time. Oh it's all connected. God. Papa John sold his soul to Nintendo, and they merged. Now they're helping promote. They Nintendo. merged. Their end goal to rule the world. Don't you see? The day of reckoning has come. Mario's only taken to the streets, causing chaos and starting rallies left and right. He's converting innocent bystanders over to his side. Not even pets are safe. Look at this footage of followers gathering for their beloved idol they love so much. Oh my god, I remember that! Oh my god, America's already fallen, and it's not stopping me. That was an amazing commercial. The set on something much bigger. They're taking over the biggest event in the world, the Olympics! Listen to that crowd. How those followers cheer for the almighty Mario to return to them. The evil elbow. Is Mario dead? No. No, really, is he dead? I'm asking you. I kind of lost track where I was going with all of this. Is he yeah, dead? exactly. Am I dead? Let me check my pulse. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. I'm dead. <laughs> Can we now get a th episode of uh, when SMG4 met Jesus? Okay. Oh my God, it's Jesus! I heard you were talking shit about me. <laughs> Oh man. Banana. I thought I was really onto something with that. Banana. That's just a theory. And that's an evil theory. My god. That was horrible. Yet at the same time, I couldn't look away. <laughs> okay. SMG4 is a furry? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, that was actually a pretty good one for something that was just a parody of Game 3. My god. Uh, like this video, subscribe, click on the link to the original down in the description. Hang up, like the original, and sub to SMG4 if you have not. I will see you guys next time. Tune in every day for new content, and please share these videos on social media. We need your help. Please. Nobody watches my shit anymore. And. and Bye-bye.